Geological field classes in northwest Scotland commonly culminate in shorter exercises in mapping. These enhance 3D interpretation skills that feed in turn into building geological histories, so it's 4D really. And here, above the shore of Loch Glen Cool, is great mapping country. Although a virtual experience can't duplicate actual field geology and map making, we can still make interpretations of existing field products. And over a series of exercises, you built up expertise in map interpretation and creating your own geological knowledge in Northwest Scotland. These have involved drawing cross sections, developing structure contour methods, and creating a generalized vertical section that shows the rock sequence and thickness of units. And you've even confronted structural interpretation of imbricate systems. So where are we now? Well, we're still in Northwest Scotland, in Northern Assent, on the southern shores of Loch Glen Cool. And this has many of the key geological components in a really nice compact area, starting out in the Northwest with these old basement units of Louisian Nice. These lie around the small lochens down there and pass up to the horizontally laid rocks of the Torridon group, these sandstones. And then these white quartz sandstones, the quartzites of Cambrian age. And these form this dramatic escarpment. Over the top of this escarpment there's more Cambrian rocks until finally in that shady hillside at the back we've got the Louisian rocks of the Glencool thrust sheet. So we've developed a whole bunch of skills together over the last few exercises. Our aim now is to apply them to a field map of the ground just down there. Our mission will be to draw a cross section to illustrate the relationships between the main rock units that we see on the field map. And we'll introduce the field map now. Perhaps this is the map area. So you can see its characteristics. It's worth looking at the amount of data that the map records, which shows you the virtue of collecting a lot of bedding readings, particularly. The map's got a key. The boundaries are drawn through the map area. So let's look at some of the detail. Starting here in the north. So this shows the subcambrian unconformity. We can trace it through this landscape starting in the east on the shores of Loch Lane Cool and we can trace the boundary up the hillside and we can pick out variations along this unconformity. So on the lower northern side you can see that the unconformity steps from Louisian up onto the Torridonian from the red rocks to the purple. Above the unconformity lies the quartzites, the lower part of the quartzites called the lower quartzite, the upper bit called the pipe rock and we can trace the boundary between those up again from the loch side up the hill. And we can demonstrate that that is conformable by looking at the orientations of the bedding on either side. So that's one thing that we can do here. There are other boundaries that we can trace out as well. So here's the Glencool thrust, which carries its sheet of Louisian gneiss over the Cambrian strata. If we zoom in on the thrust, here in the northern part, we can see that the map is decorated by measurements of myelinitic fabric along the thrust plane. There are also two areas of imbricate thrusts. Now, actually, those imbricates continue through the map but they're exposed well in two distinct patches. Let's just look at these in turn. Here's the western of the two, 
and you can see the map area in here showing repetitions of the yellow Salter of the Grit and the brown Fucoid beds. And you can see similar repetitions down towards the shore of Loch Glen Cool. So we've got two distinct areas that we can use to get an insight into the structure of the imbricate thrust stacks. Now the catch is that some of the ground is not very well exposed, so we're going to have to use the understanding of the imbricate thrusts where they are exposed to represent them in cross sections that may or may not pass through unexposed areas. The task now is to develop an interpretation of the geological structure and we'll need to construct a cross section through the map to show how units relate to one another along this line. So it's a really good chance to put together a good story for how rock units relate to one another and to apply your skills.